In this lesson, we will be going over clipping masks. And a clipping mask is a way of taking a shape and filling it with another object, such as a photo here. So let me show you as an example here. Let's say I want to take this headshot here and make it into a circle. I want to crop out everything else that just the, the subject here is within the circle. What I can do is I can grab the ellipse tool and I can click and drag to create a perfectly round circle going over the subject's head like this. I can line this up over it like that. Maybe make that a little bigger. And then what I can do is I can select both of those objects and go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. Now what it did there, as you can see, is it took the object on top, which is the circle, and it filled it with the object beneath it, which is the photo. And what you have here now is a cropped version of that photo that flows into a shape like that. Okay, now if you want to undo that, what you can do is you can go to Object, Clipping Mask, and go to Release. And now it's just like that, you have released a clipping mask. Now, unfortunately, when you do this, if you move this off to the side here, you'll notice that the fill and stroke properties of that object have been removed. So you'll have to go back in there and reapply them like that or however else you'd like to do that. Okay, now let me show you another way this can work. This can also work with multiple objects. So let me get rid of the photo here. Let me take this object and make a few duplicates of it and make them different colors. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of those objects and go to Object Group. So now I have them grouped together like that. What I can do is I can grab another shape, such as a rectangle, and create a rectangle going within that object like that. And what I can do is I can select both groupings of objects and go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And as you can see, it took the object on top, which is the rectangle, and filled it with the objects beneath it, which was the grouping of individual objects. Now what you could do is, another thing you could do is you can select the object and go to Object, Clipping Mask, and go to Edit Contents, and now you can actually go and edit the contents of this clipping mask like that. So let's say, for example, you don't like the position of where it was, or you don't like the size or the scale or the rotation, you can go ahead and make all of these transformations in here like that. Okay, so that should do it for this lesson. That is how you can work with Clipping Masks, Adobe Illustrator. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Illustrator Explainer series. It's a collection of over 100 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Adobe Illustrator, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work, kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.